Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for January 22nd through the 28th. This is the Ask Angels deck, so I would like you to ask a question and at the end I will reveal the answer that comes out on this card. So go ahead and ask your question and at the end we'll see. We're also going to get an overall energy from this deck. There it is. Mental conflict. This is the two of swords, okay? This is pretending that everything's okay. All right? Not owning up to the, to the truth. Not um, speaking your truth. This is... Um, keeping the blindfold on, uh, not accepting something, uh, pretending, all right? Procrastination. Dilemma. It's ignoring something. Uh, you guys are ignoring something. And it's causing you a lot of mental conflict because I feel like on one hand you want to do one thing and on the other you don't. You know what I mean? So that's why this mental conflict comes in. Your lack of taking action. You're stuck somewhere. It feels like you're thinking about doing something but you're not doing it. And the thing is, is you're dealing with some karma here. You're dealing with a karmic situation where it's time for you to do the right thing. Okay, it's time for you to make this decision instead of trying to go back and forth with it and keeping continuing to have the mental conflict. Take action, stop stalling, and do the right thing. You know, it's time for a change, of course. It's time for a change, period. There's destiny here. There's destiny and karma with this wheel right next to justice. Okay, whatever has happened has bringing you closer, has brought you closer to your life's purpose, has really um, made you aware of something. And now it's time for you to make this final decision that you've been procrastinating, procrastinating making. It's like you know you need to make it, and you know you need to take action, you know you need to do something, but you're still hemming and hawing. And there's, it's like you want love. I think this is in regards to love, okay? With this Four of Cups reversed, you're, you, you're looking for love, but you're not taking action, okay? All you're doing is thinking about it, and you're looking for a new opportunity, perhaps, but you have to take action to get it. You're, you're, you're thinking about somebody from your past, Okay? Uh, could be a Taurus, could be a Pisces, could be either. Um, it really feels like your intuition has been telling you what you need to do. Your inner guide is trying to push you to, to change this whole thing. They're trying to push you to make this decision, but you're not. You're still hemming and hawing. You're holding on to something when you really should be letting it go. You know, you really need to take charge. Okay, and stop resisting your heart. Because right now, nothing's working out. Things are out of balance. Things are probably chaotic. You know, there's like, there could be, you could, there could be some addictions in your life. You could be trying to mask the pain that you're feeling. Um, you know, and you haven't really healed. I think you haven't healed from somebody in your past. And I feel like there's a new offer right around the corner, okay? There is a new offer, a new beginning. But you have to do it. You have to take action to be successful. You have the resources, the power is in your hands. You have the power to manifest Whatever it is you're trying to manifest, whatever it is that you want, whatever aligns with your heart, you have the power to manifest it if you take action. It has to do with somebody from your past. 
And there's karma and destiny here. And, but the thing is, is you're going to have to invest in it. You're going to have to invest time, energy. Because you just can't free yourself from something. There's a karmic tie, destined, like soulmate person in your life that you this is like there's a tide to this person and you can't you you can't heal from it you can't heal and it feels like you can't remove yourself from this situation and perhaps you're looking for a second chance or they are there's a second chance perhaps for you and somebody from your past but you have to be able to move forward okay you have to be able to move forward with this person and it's probably a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn there's very uh, materialistic energies here so you may be dealing with somebody who's very materialistic or that could be you but I feel like you're looking for security and stability and I think you know who this person is I feel like in the past, somebody hasn't put in the work that they needed to put in. And now you can't move forward. You're stuck. It's like you can't move forward. Right now, you're, you're in your head about this person. And there's no forward movement because there's, there's lack of uh, success in all areas of your life because you can't get this person or this thought or this past out of your head. It's, it's the driving force of your life. And right now it's holding you back in every other aspect because you're not taking action. And that's what karma does. That's how you learn your lesson, by actually taking action. It's time for you to have the confidence to push forward. It's time to get things back on track. Because I feel like the worst is over. There's been some kind of completion. There's been some kind of ending. And somebody is uh, feels like they've been deeply, deeply betrayed and stabbed in the back. And now they feel insecure and like... You may feel like you're a victim or the other person may feel like they are a victim, but there's a victim mentality here, which brings about some insecurity. All right. There's some mental conflicts. Of course there is with that card. I'm going to bring this card down here. And we really do want to zoom this in, don't we? Before I keep going. I think you've been going through a difficult uh, period, and I think this period stems from an ending, okay? You've been going through difficulty regarding an ending that happened in your life, and now you're still thinking about that. It's, it's really uh, consuming you, all right? It's consuming you, and you know what you need to do. You know what you want to do, but one side of your brain says to do one thing, and the other side says to do another. And the fact of the matter is, you probably are dealing with a Taurus, because we have Taurus, Taurus here, Taurus with the High Priestess, and Taurus Virgo Capricorn here. It's either Taurus or Capricorn, that's who I think you're dealing with. Um, this right here is lack of compassion. There's lack of compassion, lack of love, lack of seeing the beauty in another person which could have caused this completion, this ending. Lack of loving unconditionally without, uh, with no expectations. But I feel with this Empress card that you are being told to trust your instincts regarding this person. It's really time for you to refocus on what you really desire. What do you really want? It's time to heal. It's time to let go. It's time to move forward. It's time to forgive. Forgive yourself and forgive the other person. 
and I feel like that's what is needed so that the rest of your life can be successful because right now the fact that you aren't haven't completely healed and that you're still having these mental conflicts it's affecting every other area it's time that you learn this karmic lesson or this lesson period the world card comes out in a reading that says you've learned something big a big lesson has been learned here celebrate your success and start the new chapter just just do it I feel like you're beginning to realize the truth of a situation perhaps it was a relationship you know I think there was probably a split of some sort some breakup that really really opened your eyes and it's caused you to change okay it's really caused a transformation within yourself and now you realize what has been lost and there's an opportunity for happiness here should you take action and you know there's new opportunities there's a new opportunity here whether it's with somebody from your past or somebody new there's a new opportunity here the fact that we have that six of cups down there there's a, a very good chance that if there's somebody that from your past I think you've taken some time to really focus on what you want what you need to reflect on your future to become aware and perhaps there is something that has died inside of you because you're not feeling loved anymore there's been some kind of loss of love and it's just about killing you and you can't ignore it you can't ignore it it's like this is it's boiling inside it's like it needs to come out you can't keep this a secret forever it's like I'm ready to spill the beans here there's a secret that is probably about to come out that you're holding because that moon card represents you you may be getting ready to speak up regarding a situation and follow your instincts this is the sign of Taurus now you could be dealing with any sign just saying this is a, a fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius we do have uh, Capricorn and Virgo here as well we also have cancer uh, I'm just looking around here we have Gemini either way it feels like there is some self-centered co conceited energy here okay I'm not sure if that's you or the other person but it's time to take action there's lack of action being taken and that could be the self-centered energy that I see there's lack of action being taken regarding love this is the cup of love but it's reversed you have to take action if you want love there could have been some abusive behavior okay mentally verbally emotionally unfair treatment perhaps there was somebody that was involved I'm not sure if it's you or the other person this is like a narcissist narcissistic energy with these two cards okay somebody who is very controlling uh, manipulative I'm the boss I know more than you um, but this also can say that somebody is ready to settle down I'm ready to settle down
it's time it's time to release this conflict I don't, I don't need this conflict in my life I don't want I don't want to play games anymore I'm sick of this competition because I haven't been able to find any contentment Taurus again um, I feel like there's somebody's been blocked okay there's been some kind of blockage here and there's probably been some kind of split and you are being called to really follow your path and listen to your inner guides and follow your instincts and the mental conflicts are holding you back from following your instincts It's time to offer love. There could be a new love or there could be an offer of love. Should you decide to take action and stop blocking it. Stop blocking commitment. Blocking commitment. So we're going to get an angel romance card, Pisces, and see what comes up. I feel like there could be good news related to a relationship should you take action. Free yourself. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Yes, it is. It's time. Take action. Oh, so, anyway, this is time for your question. You have it? Do you have your question, Pisces? Ooh, ooh, trust, trust your instincts. You have the answer. Trust in your path, trust in your plan. Trust. Okay? What's meant to be is meant to be. Believe it. Don't let these mental conflicts ruin your future. It's time to stop ignoring the truth. That's what the meaning of this card is, the Two of Swords. It's time to stop ignoring the truth. So Pisces, this is what I have for you. I wish you the best and I will talk to you next week.